This is the Getting Started with Game Lift series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can provide capacity in order to satisfy our player demand. Let's get to it. Welcome back to Getting Started with Game Lift. Uh, I'm Derek, and with me still is Al. So in our last uh, segment, we had talked a little bit about the event logs that we have when we're initializing a fleet. Now our fleet has finished initializing here, and we can see that we have a, a lot more information to pull on and draw down those logs, uh, like Al had mentioned. But I really want to talk about scaling policies and how those work within Game Lift. So can, you, can we talk a little bit about those? Sure. Yeah, so uh, we have to uh, look at the size of the fleet as a, as a very important uh, decision that we make because we want to be able to accommodate all of the new demand, so players that are joining the game, um, even as players are leaving, uh, and yet at the same time build a small buffer, a small enough buffer, that we're not overpaying for servers we don't need. So uh, this scaling tab here with the fleets gives us the uh, tools we need to start work on this. And uh, at the very outset here, we need to specify minimum, maximum instance limits. So the first thing I'm going to do is because if we set the instance count to zero, or allow the instance count to be zero, it switches off all the metrics, it shuts down the fleet, and it'll never scale up again. So we're going to set the minimum size of the fleet to one. We should do that on every single live instance, maybe not such a big deal if it's a development uh, fleet, uh, but uh, all live fleets must have, must not have a inst uh, minimum instance count of zero, must be one. And the second is, there's a maximum number of instances, and this is, uh, this is the limit of how big the fleet will ever get, even regardless of scaling rules. So, for example, you have a maximum amount that you could possibly allow yourself to be billed, and so this, uh, this instance count is limited. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it for something very high. And when I try to do that, I was checking the checkbox there, we get a little message. And it says that the number of instances requested is larger than our service limit. So this is something that we need to go and have a quick look at. If we go into this drop down here, the game lift service limits have a page, and you can see that the service limit is the default service limit is different depending on the type of instance type. So we were looking at C4 large. This is our one instance in the fleet as our desired instance. Note as well that if a, if a fleet is activating, that also allocates a fleet to an instance. Uh, but for every for every running fleet, um, this number is increased by the maximum. So let's go and say, well, we have a maximum of uh, an allocated number of 19. So let's go back to our fleet. And this is the one. So let's set that back down to a more reasonable value for our uh, account here, where we don't have um, uh, additional instances in within our service limits. So now we have a, a fleet that runs between two uh, possible sizes between 1 and 18, when the scaling rules, whatever it's decided, won't ever be allowed to exceed those values. OK, next we can decide how many fleet, how many fleet instances we want. Just, just manually decide. So you might use this to pre-warm a fleet if we're expecting new demand. And uh, this is not a scaling rule per se. This literally just changes the number of desired instances. So we can see the scaling limits here, the minimum the desired number and the maximum as set by those values. And uh, it will uh, refresh in just a moment as we get more data. These will reflect the changes that we've made here. So the next thing we can do is we can uh, select a scaling policy. And this is an automatic or a target-based scaling policy that keeps 15% of the game sessions available. So if there's 100 game sessions uh, presently, then 15% of those are going to be available. If not, it uh, could very well uh, increase the size of the fleet. So we, we use a, a fairly complicated algorithm or a fairly uh, sophisticated algorithm to make sure that, that happens. And we will enforce that by checking the box. And now you can see that it's added this target-based scaling policy to our list of scaling policy. Uh, it used to be that you would be able to create rule-based uh, policies in this window. 
Uh, and it's still possible to create rule-based policies using the command line, but the user interface has been removed for simplifying it. Uh, most people will just want to use the target-based policy at the moment. And also there's this second box here now, and this applies to both target-based and rule-based policies, and that would uh, allow us to uh, disable all of the policies in the, uh, in, that are applied to this fleet, and uh, that then you can see is also uh, taken effect into in the user interface. Using these, we can make sure that we always have sessions available for our players based on, you know, these simple rules that we set. Yes, that's right. And uh, and with the with this new um, this percentage buffer, the process is pretty much automatic, hands off once you've got it set up in your live environment. Thanks for watching. If you like this series, leave a comment below and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates.